In this presentation we're going to look at the gamma distribution. Now I have a couple of things to sort of get through in this video such as the moment generating function and so on and moments. So just as a sort of quick remark we're dealing with a gamma random variable which has a shape parameter alpha and a scale parameter theta. Okay. Now this is the probability density function and we're going to use this in our calculation. So when we calculate the expected value of something we will use the probability density function as part of the integral. An important point is that the gamma, distri uh, uh, the gamma distribution is characterized with a gamma function. The gamma function of alpha equals one uh, equals the integral from zero to infinity of x to the power of alpha minus one times e to the minus x. Okay, that's a, uh, an important deal. So that's the key definition of it here. This expression here, I just called it out. Now, um, I'm going to sort of remark, though, that there are uh, variations of it. So, for example, uh, I've looked at this in other videos. So, the integral from 0 to infinity of y to the power of alpha minus 1 times e to the minus y divided by theta. So, that's the exponential of minus y divided by theta. So, we would express that as the gamma function of alpha times theta to the power of alpha. Now, something very similar here is that if I was a f had an expression like this, you can derive it the same way, uh, y minus 1 times e to the minus uh, theta uh, y dy. Okay, so here it's not, we're not dividing by theta, we are multiplying by theta. We get something very similar here. That will be equal to the gamma function of alpha divided by theta to the power of alpha. Okay, so this is another variant, this one here. Uh, it's calculated the same way as we've done previously. It just, what we would do here is we would go x equal theta y and then dx is equal to theta dy and so on. That's just a sort of very a variation of uh, something that you probably should have looked at already because that first identity is very important. So this is just a variation of that set. Uh, that's just another extension of the main gamma distribution. And we're gonna use that one there. So we're gonna look at how to derive an expression for the raw moments of the gamma distribution the rth raw moment of the gamma distribution is mu prime of r, and that is equal to t to the power of r div times the gamma function of alpha plus r divided by the gamma function of alpha. Okay, so that's it there. That's the, the, the notation for the rth moment, mu, of, mu, mu prime of r. That is the expected value of r to the power, x to the power of r. Okay, so... What we do there is put that into our integral, x to the power of r times the PDF, the probability density function of the gamma distribution. And as usual, this is an expression that is essentially a constant, so we just take that out. And what we are left with here is x to the power of alpha plus r minus 1 times e to the minus x divided by la, uh, uh, theta dx. Okay? So using the first of our variations of the expression of the gamma distribution, uh, gamma function, we can express this here as gamma function of alpha plus r times the theta to the power of alpha plus r. That's using a standard result. And essentially what we're going to do there is just simplify that expression out. Theta to the power of alpha, that divides out with t to the power of alpha plus r just, just leaves t to the power of r. And this is a sort of hard one. You can't really sort of do anything more with this one, actually. So that's actually as far as the uh, simplification goes because we don't really know what r is with relation to alpha plus r. So anyway, that's it. That's it. That's the job done, really. So uh, again, the gamma function and the alternatives uh, expressions of the gamma functions, the first one of them helped out there. So, the second one, 
is the moment generating function of the gamma distribution. What we want to do is show that that is equal to 1 minus theta t to the power of minus alpha for t less than or equal to 1 half. Now, I'm not going to really mention that. I'm just going to sort of stick to the main job here. So that this is the definition for the moment generating function. M of x t is equal to the expected value of e, e to the power of t x. Okay, so again, here is the e to the tx, and this is our probability density function. Okay, now, just like we've done before, and in several other instances, we will take out this expression here and just leave it outside the integral. So what we're left with here is e to the tx times x to the power of alpha mi minus 1, which we're not really going to do anything with in this instance, and then we are left with e to the minus x divided by theta, okay? So what this expression here becomes, when I essentially multiply this expression here, e to the tx by e to the minus x divided by t, we end e to the minus x divided by theta, I should say. This is what the expression will look like. It's the exponential of minus 1 over theta plus t, okay? Or you can actually just put a, another bracket there and that becomes a minus. That's what we do there. So we just sort of keep it in this sort of shape here, okay? So this is essentially a multiple of x. So e minus x times some multiple. So this is where we use the, uh, the second expression okay the second variant of this one here okay so whatever the power of or the multiple of y is in this instance ends up down here with to the power of alpha okay so that's how we go here that's how we end up going from this expression here to this here so just in case you're just be clear about this, this ends up as the denominator of a fraction because we're using that second variant, okay? So we end up with, uh, just with regard to the integral, uh, the gamma function of alpha divided by one divided by theta minus t to the power of alpha, okay? And we're gonna multiply that through by the constant, okay? and just sort of simplify it out. So that works out to be, the gamma functions just cancel out. So when we have, we re-express this, what we have to do is simplify this expression. Okay. And what you should get is theta to the power of alpha divided by one minus theta t to the power of alpha. Now, obviously they're gonna cancel out as well. So that's what we end up with there. So essentially this is it, one minus alpha, one minus theta times t to the power of alpha. And that's just a sort of nice tidy expression there. One minus theta t to the power of minus alpha for t less than or equal to one over theta okay so do we do anything more with that we don't that's it that's the job done okay so uh, just a headline there just a sort of quick remark is that this part here does a lot of the work and it helps us out a lot just that second variation of a second extension of the gamma function okay